<laughs> well, hello everyone. Hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. I have an unboxing for you. I have something cool for, well, I'm going to use it here in the studio. But uh, I thought you guys might want to see it. Got it right down here. It's not, not a small little item. It's not huge. But it is from Pioneer. And you can see right here, DM50D BT Bluetooth monitor speaker. Yes. Uh, Sweetwater does have these in stock. I definitely would uh, say if you're looking for some monitor speakers, this might be your, uh, your ticket right here. It comes with two of them in a box. They're not outrageously priced. Uh, again, I got this from Sweetwater. There's other retailers that have it as well. And as always, this is the first time, you know, opening a box up with you guys. And just got this today from the FedEx guy. And let's, it's a box in a box. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> let me get this out of this box here. And I'll be right back, guys. Oh, man. All right, we are back. Look for it's box in a box. So this is the retail box. A lot of companies do that. They have a shipping box. And then they have a retail box. So this is if I had a display shelf, you know, to put off as a retailer. Uh, but I'm not a retailer, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but I'm glad the Pioneer does that because it protects what's inside. So, I'm going to move the camera a little bit. Move it down. You guys can see the box better. There you go. And, of course, owner's manual. Always important to have. Make sure you keep that. They're linked via these little speaker cable. So this is a nice basic speaker cable. Uh, if you want upgrade, I would say upgrade. Oh, this is nice. You got your headphone jack, which is 3.5 millimeter or 1 8 to RCA, which is for the output uh, input for the uh, system. So you can plug in your computer, which is usually computer audio, is usually standard headphone jack to RCA. Power cable. Unfortunately, it's not IEC. I wish it was IEC. That would make life easier, but it is what it is. And, oh, I love this. This styrofoam here. Nice. Nice. Pioneer, I will say this, everything I ever bought from Pioneer, they always packs up really, really well. It's always very well done. And you can see Right inside the box, you can see the, the speakers. And I'll pull this one out. Got that one right there. And I'm going to put the box down. All in the box are the two speakers. And they are... Taped. And ah, all right, take that bag, put it in there. All right, so this is the this is the passive one. This is the one's non-powered. This is has to be connected to the main. And this is a five-inch driver. Right here, nice little ports here. And again, this is a nice small, uh, not overly powerful unit, and I don't want to be blown out, but uh, it should. There's a lot of people ranting and raving about it, and I don't know if you saw or not on um, Pioneer's website, but uh, DJJ, who was at uh, there at NAM, they showed a speaker there, and uh, he was talking about it, and. Uh, 
I believe he said in New York Times. I, I may be wrong, but I think he did an article on this. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me down in the comment section down there. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you go over to Pioneer USA. Subscribe to Pioneer USA. That is always a great source for information, especially if you're a Pioneer user. Keep up on information. So this is the main unit. And I'm going to arrow down the camera again so you guys see what's going on here. And you can see <laughs> over there is the bag. <laughs> so it has in the back, it says left to right for the speakers. So you can see what's going on. You have right here your knob, which is your volume level control right on the unit. So you can control the volume here or through your PC. And then the back, very well labeled, very well designed. Power on off. Whoop. Power on and off. I'm doing it backwards. Sorry, sorry, folks. Power on and off right here. You got your plug right here. Your output to your other speaker, your second speaker, is here. And because this is not really super long, it's nice and it's good and long. Uh, if you wanted to go to a maybe a little thicker, a little higher quality uh, cable, you can. Uh, and a little bit longer, but I wouldn't go like from one side of the room to the other side of the room or to another room doesn't work that way and again this is for a stereo system so they're too far away you get lag you get bad sound this is something you want within a you know a, a few feet of each other nothing crazy distance but i like that idea one amplifier to cover both and then you have your inputs right here you have your quarter inch inputs you have your rca right here and then you have your regular headphone jack input right there. So you can go headphone jack to headphone jack. And it also has Bluetooth as well, which you can see your sound mode. Uh, you have a sound mode switch right here. So you have DJ, which as a DJ, I should have on that. <laughs> um, and then also you have it as your monitor. And that's the great thing about this. It's a great little speaker. And I can't wait to hear these. And I will give you guys a report on the, my show uh, about how great it is for sound-wise. And I will say that there's also a cool thing, headphone jack right here. So if you need to plug in your headphone, because this is already taking up your jack, and if you had a laptop or a computer that only had one sound output, you can actually plug in a headphone right in front of here. And then in the front of the unit, you also have your Bluetooth light that tells you. And then again, above the volume is your on light. It tells you that you have it on. And these tweeters right here, these tweeters, nice little dome tweeters. Yeah, these are going to project nicely for sound and give a nice even. Uh, with 5-inch woofer, that's a that's a nice little punchy little bass there it's going to have uh, versus the system I have now. It has actually a little separate, separate subwoofer. So I'm looking forward to upgrading these. i got a couple shelves I'm going to put above the uh, monitors here. I have, two, I have a couple monitors here. I'm going to put a shelf right above. Uh, put these up on that shelf and plug it in. But I'm really looking forward to this. This is something I... Been waiting to upgrade, and when I saw these uh, on Pioneer DJ's uh, YouTube channel, and I saw DJ J talking about this, uh, and again, if you're not following him as well as Pioneer DJ, you should be following the two of them. But uh, it's a great thing, and I'm really looking forward to it. And it's one of the things you see a lot of things at NAM, and you see a lot of things that are out there a lot of products and you're like hmm does that would that work for me and i think that you know especially here in my office it'll work for me and i, I it really uh will fit what i need uh they're nice and deep they're not overly crazy deep you can see that they're not overly crazy deep you know you can put this on a shelf you know this is the front of the unit this is the back of the unit this is the non-powered unit uh, this is the passive unit, but again, nice deep, nice deep wells for, for bass, nice little ports. 
So you have a ported uh, unit there. And, you know, again, it has right in the back, left and right. So you know which one goes where. And you also have, again, I'm sorry, it has production. I thought it had a monitor, but it says DJ and it has production. So if you're producing audio, put it on production. If you want more, I guess, more music sound, it's more for DJ. I have to read the owner's manual. That's one of the first things you always should do. Read the owner's manual and make sure you go. It, usually a lot of times you register these online. Make sure you register them because the fact that there's any kind of recall, there's any kind of thing going on with them. Uh, and warranty-wise, it gives you all that layers of protection. So something does go wrong with it that's not because of what you did. Something happened to it that's, you know, from the manufacturer, which Pioneer usually doesn't have many things go wrong with them. Um, you can you get a hold of them and say, hey, you know, it's not working. Um, but, again, this is this is really, really cool. And I'm glad that uh spent a few dollars. And like before, uh, they are packed very, very, very well. The box, not, again, it's not originally heavy. It's not as heavy as, let's say, a, uh, an 18-inch sub <laughs> or a 15-inch sub, for that matter. Uh, they have a little weight to them. They're a nice, solid uh, MDF uh, case, and, you know, they have nice, warm sound. Uh, that's what I read. And, uh, again, once I uh, try these out for a while, uh, I had to give you guys probably an update on a couple things that uh, we did uh, unboxings on. Other than that, if you get a chance to like this, subscribe, follow, and uh, it's uh, always a pleasure and always getting new stuff and trying stuff out and unboxing and uh, doing some. Oh, one other thing also looks like uh, little pads, little felt pads. Um, you put in the bottom of the speakers, they don't slide and they don't uh, cause vibration on things, especially if you're doing sound production. You don't want you know, vibration coming from the speakers. So, again, read the owner's manual. It's going to tell you where to put them. It's going to tell you all the information in there. Manual are your friend. Remember that. And a couple other things. Hashtag don't blind grandma. Hashtag don't make grandma deaf. Other than that, guys, I hope to see you guys later. Again, thank you for checking us out. If you want to see some other unboxings, I have other stuff coming. Um... And it will be more unboxings. And uh, this is the third one I've done, third or fourth one I've done on the channel. So there will be more stuff coming because I'm always buying stuff. <laughs> uh, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoy yourself. And, again, any comments, critiques, criticisms, questions, put it down below in the comment area. As always, thank you very much. Have a good day, guys.